Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Happy Tuesday. We have a four-box break of 2017-18 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey coming at you. Break number 16 from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks for getting to the action. One spot gets you two teams. So let's double you up right there like Sir Mix a lot. There's all the teams right there except for the Wild and the Lightning. Let's roll the dice. Five and a one. Six times. Names first. One. Two, three, four, five, and a one. Six times. Six? I said six. All right. There it is. We've got Derek down to William. Five and a one. Six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and a one. Six times. New Jersey Devils down to the Canadiens. All right, so Derek with the New Jersey Devils, Nicholas with the Blues, James, you got the Rangers, Bill with the Canucks, James with the Caps and the Stars, Big Boys 007 with the Flames, John Samuelson with your last spot mojo, Predators, and your other last spot mojo, Ducks. Logan with the Red Wings, William with the Jets, David with the Oilers, William with the Islanders, Rexy got my Kings, William with the Panthers, Paul with the Hurricanes, Logan with the Bruins, Flyers for William, Derek with the Sabres, Rex with the Blackhawks, David with the Senators, Coyotes for William, Penguins for Nicholas, Bill, you have the Golden Knights, uh, Paul with the Blue Jackets, David with the Sharks, William with the T uh, Toronto Maple Leafs, uh, Colorado Avalanche, James, Wild and Lightning for William, and William also has a Canadiens. So trades are allowed if you want to you want to trade and here are our, our uh, final four boxes right here of SP authentic hockey looking for this guy Brock just like Brock in a uh, in Pokemon. Cartoon. Not that anyone watches that. Kids show. We're not kids. We're, we're, we're grown adults here. Grown men and women here. Pokemon. Rex asking, where's Joe P? Haven't seen him in a while? Well, you'll notice that he'll only show up once the, when the Diamondbacks are in first place. It's been a while. hey -o. No, he, he pops in every day. Almost every night he pops in and says hello. Uh, Canucks for wings, maybe? I don't think you want to trade the uh, Canucks, though, Bill. Just because... Oh, you did, John. Not that anyone would play such a game. I don't even know who the uh, I don't even know who the like the people that are friended on uh, <laughs> friended on Pokemon Go. I have no idea who they are because everyone has different usernames from your first names. Blah blah. blah. There you go, Rex. Wait, for the hobby, are you, are you Logan? I have no idea. You guys need to use your real names in here. Um, Logan, if you are the real Logan, tell me what your, uh, your street address is, just the numbers of the street address you're using for your orders.
Oh, you are the real Logan. Okay. Logan confirmed. All right, so Bill says let's trade. Logan is confirmed. So there you go. So wings for Canucks. Bill Durden with the Detroit Red Wings now, and Logan now with the Vancouver Canucks. Let's put T's next to those so we know they're for trades if you're keeping track at home. And now let's close up that trade window. All right. There you go. So Tuesday, the 25th, four box Ram team number 16. It's a nice trade window there. Got some trade chatter and trades were knocked out. Bill, you now have the Detroit Red Wings. And Logan with the Vancouver Canucks now. All right, let's pop open the first box. Let's see what we got. This was the second half of that case that we popped open a little while ago. This is uh, our final four boxes. So thank you very much, everyone. By now, everyone remembers what SP Authentic looks like. More hockey on the way um, this fall, ladies and gentlemen. Real, like, hockey is actually going to be starting soon. We're in preseason right now. So the hockey season will start very soon. And we'll have more hockey releases from Upper Deck throughout throughout the fall. So stick with us here at jazbeeshobbyland.com. Um, well, there'll be plenty, plenty of stuff. Well, let's let's hope for next year. Upper deck improves the the the, uh, the packaging on this here. Upper deck, I'll I'll pay the extra five cents a pack just for a little a little more improvement on the uh, on the wrapper here. Have people have people done this? I wonder if someone's collected all of these yet. I don't know. It's 18 packs per box, William. I mean, just slightly better material. That's all I'm asking. Something that doesn't do this and or that. All right. Good luck, everybody. Got some young guns here. I like the young guns cards they have here. Is a nickel too much? Maybe a penny, per, penny per pack. And our first autograph is Alexander Nylander, eighty-eight out of nine ninety-nine. You had to sign a thousand of these. 
Uh, Derek with the Sabres. Plus parallels, I would imagine. And Vince Dunn for the St. Louis Blues. That'll be for Nicholas Leslie. 909 out of 999. The 909, that's that's where I grew up. Some people people may remember the 909 from the hit television show The OC. You guys remember the OC? Do 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 over here Give myself some room here and Alex Tuke 48 out of 999 with his that date there debut? No, it was no, no, it was no Dukes of Melrose. That is for sure. It's a, it's an instant classic. Uh, that goes to the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Bill with that one. Rich confirming it. It is his debut date. Nice. I think from what I remember, only like the first, however many, first hundred. Oh, there you go. Rich answered that question too. First fifty have the, the little bonus inscriptions. All right, there you go. Box one. In the books. Box two, I hear Rex calling a quad autograph in this. That would be cool. Uh, that was indeed. His debut was uh, February 4th, 2017. Unless, unless he's English. Because they do the dates and the months reversed. So, who knows? It could be February 4th or it could be April 2nd. I don't know when his debut was. February or April. <laughs> I guess that's how you'll know. Oh, did wait? There, there were no games for the Golden Knights in 2017, in February or April. So that must be. Was he with? A, he must have been with another team then. The debut for his non-Golden Knights team. Yeah, Golden Knights started in the fall of 17. Box. Good luck. We got a 
I've got a couple other hockey breaks in the store right now, folks. Splendor Hockey, which is splendid, and Ultimate Collection as well. You know one thing we haven't seen yet? So these these sort of magenta or pink parallels right here are pretty common, but um, there are black parallels that are one of ones. We haven't seen one of those yet, we've, and we've done this is break 16. I feel like we would have run into one of those by now, but no dice for now. There's our favorite cyborg, Yarmir Yager, who's only playing this long because he's had vital body parts replaced by uh, cybernetics. All right, we got Oliver Ekman Larson, Spectrum FX. Another Spectrum FX level two, Tage Thompson. And then Christian Yaros out of 999 Future Watch for the Ottawa Senators. Young Guns for the Ducks. And for the St. Louis Blues, a limited autograph, Colton Paryako. St. Louis Blues, that'll be for Nicholas Leslie. Nice. And we got Remy Ellie out of 299, a future watch autograph for the Dallas Stars. James Simers with the Stars. Ah, so William is reporting. He did a little research for us. Thanks, William. Tuke played for the Wild against the Jets on that on that fateful day, on Rex's birthday. Tanner Fritz, Young Guns for the Islanders. Those two guys. All right. Halfway through this break already. Next box. Good luck, everyone. Uh, we have Ultimate Collection in the store, jazpiecehobbyland.com. Those are our final two boxes of Ultimate Collection. And then we've got a couple more breaks of that, uh, that high-end Splendor Hockey left as well. So get into that Splendid Splendor break. Ooh. See, they should all they should all rip like this. 
ladies and gentlemen. All, all of them. Oh, another good one. Rex says, you have to go to work after this, and you don't want... Well, Rex, you have to. More work means means more 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 group breaks with Jaspies, which is obviously obviously the goal. There's Clayton Keller for the Coyotes. That'll be for William. I like the old school design here. Well, Rex, if you don't want to go to work, I'll I'll write you a note. How about that? And another limited auto, Logan Couture. Nice one for the San Jose Sharks. Big Boys 007. We'll set that right here. We'll set Clayton. We'll top load all those before they go out, of course. And for the Coyotes, Nick Merkley. Out of nine ninety nine, that is for William and the Arizona Coyotes. The Coyotes, the Yotes. That's what the cool kids call them, the Yotes. I don't know if they do. That could be a complete lie. It probably is. Oh, uh, William, you call him the Yotes? Oh, yeah, definitely cool then. There's Colby Cave. Future Watch for the Bruins. Jake DeBrusque. Rex, I remember Sharknado. Do you remember Sharknado, Rex? Do Rex remembers? Does everyone else remember Sharknado? Wasn't there a sequel? Sharknado 2. The Revenge? No, I don't know if it was The Revenge. Sharknado 2. There's Christian Juice. Kusinov. So a couple capitals there for James. Were there several sequels? There's five? Is it with the same cast? No, it's got to be a different cast every time. It can't just be like Ian Zierig and from Beverly Hills Now 210 and, I don't know, and others getting involved in the same situation every time. It is the same cast and just a ton of cameos. Oh, God. Right, Tara Reed's in it too, right? Oh, God. Missing arm terror. Did she lose an arm in one of the Sharknados? What the hell is happening here? The last Sharknado. It's about time. Yeah. Sharknado, the return. The last Sharknado. It's about time. Um, are they going to do... They're going to have to go to space. It's not, have they gone to space yet? That's always a good sequel. Let's have it go in space. Um, right, they got to go back in time. That's a good one, William. The, <laughs> Finn has to go back in time to rejoin his shark battling friend to stop the first Sharknado and save humanity. Andrew, any football breaks tonight? Yes. 
2017 Flawless Collegiate Football still has plenty of teams left. We aim to do that tonight. Giving away some break credit in that break, too. Huh. I want to... I got to look this up after this last box of 2017-18 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey on a Tuesday, September 25th, 2018. Four box round team, break number 16. Once I'm done with that, we got to take a look at at all the, all the Sharknados. I only see one order coming in. Everyone's waiting for tomorrow's new releases anyway. We do have some breaks that we can do tonight, so check out the website, folks. Uh, I'm down to do the, the, spl the Splendid Splendor splend without any Splenda in the break. Hundred percent cane sugar. Where's the NT? I don't know where the NT is. I don't. I don't post those breaks. That's my colleague Nick Jaspi. Post those breaks. You got to ask him. Sometime tonight, though. I hope. We're on another SPA. Unfortunately, this is the last four boxes of SPA. The final four. The last two boxes of Ultimate Collection up on the site. And we have a few more. Uh, I think we have at least after the one on the site of Splendor. Splenda, Splendor. We have um, two more breaks of that, so we can run those back. Young Guns for the Red Wings. So Bill Durden on the board with Vegni Shvednikov. Nailed it, I think. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's a cool looking card. Now, NT is not already sold out. That's fake news from Rex. We have, we have not posted it yet. There's Carey Price, Spectrum FX. And look at this. Nice patch, nice autograph. Limited auto materials, Mark Giordano for the Flames. That also goes to Bill. No, this is Calgary. That goes to not Bill, but David. Big Boys 007 with that one. Because it's this one that goes to the Detroit Red Wings, Bill Durden. 273 out of 9.99. Evgeny Vegni. I got it the first time, kind of. Kind of flubbed through it. Nice. So definitely first blood and then some in the trade, if you were keeping score of the trade at home. There's David Kampf for the Blackhawks, Young Guns. Nicholas Leslie saying I stand corrected. Well, the, my eyebrows were definitely a little raised too when Bill Durden was going to move the Vancouver Canucks. But it looks like he knew what he was doing. For, uh, he was bold enough to make the move. And I think that is it, folks. I'm just maybe looking for a parallel or something fun like that. Well, that is that, boys and girls. 
No randomizers, nothing. We didn't see the quad auto wrecks. I was hoping for one of those too, but a nice finish to SP Authentic. Keep checking the site for more hockey, ladies and gentlemen. We'll do it. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time for the next break.